Hey everybody, welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. I'm here with the bestie Mandy. And I'm here with my bestie Jessica. Well, today's video is one of our convincing my bestie videos. And today Mandy's gonna convince me to do something. So this is where we convince the other to read in a trope that either they don't read a lot of or they don't typically choose for themselves. Um, so, you know, it's Mandy's turn to convince me. <laughs> All right, so Mandy, what are you convincing me to read? Okay, I'm going to convince you to read Grumpy Sunshine. Okay. But I have noticed that a lot of the books that I have been really loving lately have been mm -hmm. Grumpy Sunshine. So I'm like, oh, this will be a great one to do. So I went to look for some books because I didn't want it just to be like every book I've just read. So mm -hmm. I was trying to go back and look through books. And every time I found a book... Oh, you had already read it. So I think Grumpy Sunshine might be a trope that we actually do like. But we, because I was like, I don't really seek it out, but I've read a lot of it and I've really enjoyed it. So that's why this prompted me to do this one. Yeah. But I think that you might also find that you're kind of like me where it ends up, I mean, because you've read a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it something ends that up, I just don't realize what it is. When I'm yes, I, don't think I think it. I don't, so. Yeah, I don't go That's, into it going, oh, I want to read the like Grumpy Sunshine. It's just exactly, what I think. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's yeah. kind of been happening on the Grumpy Sunshine front. Because yeah. if you think about a lot of like books that you like, the guy is grumpy. He is. I like them when they're grumpy. I know. I mean, I don't like it when my husband's grumpy because it's a pain in the butt. But I like it in my books. Yes. Sorry. I have to grab my notes are just all piled up here. Okay. Okay. So before we get started with the video or the Rex. Oh, I'm uh, ready. I wanted to start now. I know, Let's but you go. still have to tell them something. Oh, you're so bossy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm aggressively sure. helpful. <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we give away free books on our channel and you do not want to miss out on that. So hit that subscribe button. You can follow us on Instagram for an extra entry. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about Grumpy Sunshine? Comment below. And this, again, just in case. Yeah, not in case, but okay. Just want to remind everyone, even though I just said it. A lot of Grumpy Sunshine books that are really good that I went to pick for this video, Jessica has already read. So I had <laughs> to go and find one she has not read mm -hmm. for this video. So if we miss some of your favorites, it might just be because Jessica has already read it. It's a possibility. Yes. And if you like this video, let us know if Grumpy Sunshine is something you want to see more from us. Because like I said, Jessica's read a lot. So we could, and I have too, so we could easily have our own video. Yes. Jessica didn't think that she could do it, but she could. Apparently I could, huh? She can. She can. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do this. Book number one. And I know I've talked about this before. And so if it's shown up in another convincing, my bad. But I think it was an enemies to lovers video we did. Okay. So this is Look the Part by Jewel E. Ann. And this is about Ellen and Flint. And so Flint is a lawyer and he owns the office building where he works and he leases the space up above him to Ellen does not realize that Ellen isn't just a therapist. She is a musical therapist, a music therapist. So she uses music. He needs to be able to concentrate, but he is pretty grumpy. Also check triggers because <laughs> you know, he is a single dad because his wife passed away mm -hmm. to his son, and oh i can't remember his son's name his son is autistic and ellen really starts to get through to her, his son and he's kind of taken back by that he's very closed off and grumpy not looking for a relationship in fact he decides he's going to get ellen out of the office building completely okay how much grumpier can you get and ellen loves music she's a therapist so you can just kind of sense the carefree vibe that you're gonna get from her mm -hmm. for the sunshine part yep okay okay next i have and i picked this one because we just met tessa bailey and this is about a town that we um frequented when we were younger 
Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. This is Piper and Brendan. So Piper is 28-year-old socialite, and she gets thrown in jail after a party, and her stepdad decides he's done with this. She needs to learn responsibility. So he cuts her off and sends her to Westport, where her, her biological dad was killed at sea, which is very common in the commercial fishing industry. Mm -hmm. And he her dad owned a bar there in Westport and it's still there being ran by other people. So he decides to send her and her sister to Westport to run this bar to learn responsibility. When she gets there, she meets Brendan, who is a fisherman. And some things have happened in his life that has made him very, very grumpy. Okay. Okay. All right. This is also like major opposites attract because you have like fishermen and socialite. <laughs> mm -hmm. We don't have too many of those in Westport. Just, just, you know, the social. No. no. Okay. Then so. I have Stuck Up Suit by Via Keeland and Penelope Ward. And this is about Graham. And Graham is, so her name is Soraya. I hope I'm saying that right. And she sees Graham on, on the train and he's on his phone and he's yelling at someone quite like intensely. And he gets off the train and loses his phone when he gets off the train. They live in like New York or somewhere like that. So it's like, you know, commuting stuff. So she gets the phone and is able to track him down to where he works, but he refuses to see her. And she's like, I'm trying to return his phone, but he's like, no, just leave it. And she's like, no, I'm going to personally give it to you. And so she gets kind of pissed with him and she decides to take some selfies that are very provocative and leaves it on his phone <laughs> and texts it to him from his own phone. And he is very intrigued by her because she's obviously very different from him. He is a stuck up suit, very grumpy. He obviously is going to have his reasons, though. Like, do we ever have a romance hero who is grumpy that doesn't have reasons that just make us go? There's oh. reasons. Yes. Yeah. Always. So that one was fun. I enjoyed it. But I wouldn't put one on here that I wouldn't enjoy. So, you know. Right, right, right. They have a lot of banter, which was enjoyable. Okay, my next one is one that I really, really loved. You read the first book. I don't know why you haven't read the second book in the series because it was, in my opinion, better than the first book. The first book was really good. I think you liked it. Oh my goodness, I think I used book one in a convincing and now I have book two in the next convincing. I may have done this and that's why you read the first book. I don't know. It's uh, The Best of All by Carla Sorensen. Yeah. It's the second book in the best men series. So uh, was it? <laughs> yeah, it was. We were in Seattle and it was a convincing we didn't do Seattle. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. My yeah. apologies. It's all good. I mean, I've wanted to read this one anyway. Okay, good. Okay, good to go know. Ahead. Okay, so we, this is very grumpy sunshine. We have Zoe and Liam. As we know in the first book, their very close friends have passed away. And they have left their little girl, um, Mira, behind. And Zoe gets custody of her. And Zoe lived next door to them. Liam is an NFL player. We don't see a ton of football, but he is, like, it does play a, a significant role in, in the book. And he is, he is a current player. Nice. Thank you for the thumbs up. Jessica. Man, I barely even had a thumb there, but okay. <laughs> I'm scratching. <laughs> so, sensitive, sensitive stream. Yeah. Um, uh, Zoe gets a phone call that she needs to go meet with a lawyer. So she goes there and Liam shows up and they find out that both of them have been given custody of Mira. And Liam's like, nope, don't want kids. He knew I didn't want kids, so I will just write you checks. Mira will have everything she's ever wanted, but this is your raise her. I will definitely hope financially. Have a great day. And he leaves. And she is not happy about this, and she lets him know it. And he is just very closed off and grumpy, and she is doing the best that she can to 
I mean, this was her best friend that lived next door to her. Like, she's doing the best that she can to raise Mira and deal with her new reality. And she is much more, even though things are not great, she's much more happier. It's definitely that sunshine, you know, grumpy sunshine. And he is very, very closed off. But he has some reasons, obviously, like we just talked about. Really enjoyed this one. It was a five star. I loved it. Okay. Okay. Then my next one is Wronged by Rin Shear. And we have Remy and Jacob in Wronged. And so in this one, Jacob was accused of something pretty horrific and was sentenced to prison for 10 years. And he's recently gotten out. So we can kind of understand why he's going to be grumpy and closed off. A little bit. And the people in the town that he ends up moving to are not friendly to him. Remy has had kind of her life dictated for her. Her parents are very wealthy. They're socialites. And so they've kind of just always told her what she has to do. And she's now, I think she's like around 27. And she's like, I'm just done being told what to do. So she just ups and leaves, doesn't tell them where she's going. And she moves to the same small town. And she decides to get a job. And she's just, you know, living her life. And she's very drawn to Jacob. But again, Jacob, very closed off, very grumpy. And Remy wants to try and figure him out a little bit more and give okay. him the second chance that he deserves. Okay. Okay. Then this should be number six. Yep. Okay. Number six is Bitter Rival by Emery Rose Andrews. This just came out, but it is one of my faves so far for the year. Like, love it. So this is the first book in the Sutton Ridge series. And this is about Daisy and Beckett. Daisy... Always, oh, also make sure you read the dedication. Oh, let me let me read you the dedication, and then I think you'll just want to read it, uh, just based on this dedication. Oh, okay. For all the women who prefer the beast to the prince, I give you Beckett Hayward. Okay. Ready? Ready? Just read it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Beckett and Daisy were step siblings when they were younger. I, I can't really explain what's gone on. You find out more as the book goes on. It's kind of a little bit of a mystery as to what happened there. But they Beckett's dad has passed away. Beckett and his dad were estranged. He has left the vineyard to both of them under the condition they both have to live there and work the vineyard for three months before they can get their inheritance. So Daisy ends up moving there. Daisy is a a little bit carefree. She's a photographer, but she's very good at what she does. She is very much like the happy-go-lucky type person, but also that might be hiding, you know, some things that she's feeling. Beckett is just kind of angry and grumpy with the whole world. Even though he's extremely wealthy, he has not found his happiness. And he's bitter about his dad. And so they are living on a uh, the vineyard together so we have forced proximity as well and they have to make this vineyard situation work for three months okay okay those are my six grumpy sunshine books okay you actually picked some really good ones this time around I mean, not like you don't. Like, I guess that makes it sound like you don't. But I'm like, you pick some really good. These ones are harder to choose from. I know um, you did that with the, to me with the MC. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, because there's several of these that have been like on my TBR for a while. So, um, I think I'm gonna go with Rin Shear. I think I'm gonna go with Wrong by Rin Shear. I really okay. liked that book I read of hers last month, and so I want to try that. And I know you loved that book, so I did. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with that one. It was very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll be back. We'll be back. All right, Jessica. How did you like Wronged? I really liked it. I was really surprised by this book. Like it, I really liked it. It was emotional. It was good. Um, I want to read Wrecked, which is the second book. Um, yes. Different characters, but the second book. Um, I think Rin Shear is um, very underrated. She is a great author. She doesn't have a lot of works out there, but I've read two of her books so far and I've loved both. So really, really like this one. Yes. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to decide if it's four and a half, four, like I'm trying to decide how many stars still, but I, I really liked it. Okay. Okay. All right. So that was it. I know it's hard to have much of a discussion because it gives too much away. <laughs> With this book, for sure. With this book, you 
Yeah, you have to yeah. go in blind. I think that's the best way to go into it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And just be and prepared. Then, <laughs> and then after wrecked is another one, Shattered. I haven't read Shattered yet, but it is on my list of books to read. Okay, so that was that. <laughs> Make sure to check back on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for new videos from us. And hit that notification button so you don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.